Howdy everyone, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're all doing good wherever you're out in the world. Um, today, I was going to do the startup after we did the pulley, or the uh, uh, recoil rebuild on that 700. Well, it's not going to happen because I looked into the tank, did a little bit of inspection, so it's pretty bad. There's a lot of uh, build up gunk, um, some big chunks. It looks like crystals, but if you poke at it, it's like really jelly. So there's, it's all gelled up, and I see pieces to the fuel cap vent. So we need officials out as well. But then I thought, why well, fish them out when I gotta clean out this thing anyway? I have to take it all apart. Excuse me. And uh, we're, we're, so we're gonna just going to take the cover off and go from there. And then we can put the cover back on and see if we can get it started. So let's get it, get to it. All right, so I already took the two rear screws out. I loosened up the handle a little bit because like, like I said, it's, it's bent. So now we just got to pry this up real carefully. It's got that seal around the air housing. So we got to be real careful trying to get this thing popped up. There we go. Get this unsealed. And then we can detach the fuel line from the carb. There we go. Now we can take this right off. So we're definitely going to need a tank gasket here. Sometimes you could save them, put a little uh, gunk on it. Uh, what do you call it? Moto seal. So this looks pretty rough. Fuel lines uh very thin. Oh, and cracked, so it's got a hole in it. So we can need that, but uh, you can see here. See all that gunk in there? It is pretty nasty. Very nasty. Lots of gunk. And then on top of that, we got the parts for our gas cap. That's in here somewhere. Wow, this is pretty rough. Yeah, look at that. Yes, nasty. Oh yeah, it's um, it's definitely seen better days in here. That chain, that it's even taking the paint right off. So I'm just gonna have to scrape a little bit of the paint until we get to a point where we don't want to flake off. So we don't want that sticking to our Stick it to our uh, fuel filter, plugging that up, restricting flow. That would not be good. So, in here somewhere, I know I've seen it, there's a spring. Somewhere. No, I saw it. Yep, uh, that's in there somewhere. So I will bring you all back when I get this 
all cleaned up. I'm going to take all this off as well. I can replace it. Yeah, it's just the back part. It really needs all the replacing, really. Yep. Nasty, nasty. All right, folks, I'll bring y'all back. clean the inside of this curb cavity as well in the air box so, well, that stuff's in there pretty good <laughs> Or the uh, get fuel sign. Say the tank is a little on the rough side. All this is going to get cleaned up real good anyway when we uh, we got to tear all this down when we go to port it anyway. Not a big deal. There we go. Now, uh, it's going to be, it might be a little bit before the next video on this. Definitely going to have to get a uh, fuel line and filter. And I do not have any at the moment. I'm all out. Yep, I, I ran out. Used them all. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, unfortunately, that's it until we get this all, uh, get the fuel line replaced. I hope you all have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the short little video on this. Apologize, it's uh, not very long. So, uh, you all be good, be kind, be safe, and please spread the love. I'll see you all next one. Let's do it.